Okay, I'm going to make a quick little video here on this steel. That um, whenever you see a a knife that I make and it's got a hamon and I refer to it as DH3W2. The DH3, of course, stands for Don Hansen III. And it is W2 tool steel. This is the condition that this steel comes in. This is, I mean, you can see this is large, heavy, round piece of steel. I don't know what this weighs, 10, 12 pounds or something. And of course I, you know, cut it off into pieces like this. This will forge, this would make a big bowie or buoy or forge it out, get a couple hunters out of it. But here's the, the I'm sorry, I'm moving my camera around here. Um, the origin of this steel. Um, I'm gonna add this video to a, this video to a video I just made and then I'll probably also just um, upload this as a standalone video on my YouTube channel but the origin of this steel is um, Don bought somewhere between 25 and 30 thousand pounds of this steel you know imagine 15 tons of it in 20 foot bars and the, it was made by Tremblay Tool Steel which is a steel company in Ohio um, somewhere in the 80s so this steel you're looking at is you know 35 years old at this point um, and it was it was a uh, it was being used by General Motors and what they would do is they would take this stuff and of course they even had you know they had large rounds of it and this is just happened to be the stuff that Don got but they would forge die molds you know for um, body parts it was like if you're gonna you know shape a a car door out of steel it's pressed we you know like a, a male and a female form would go together and it would press the the sheet metal or whatever other car parts between them to create this their desired shape well as time went and Don even talked to the guy who was in charge of using this stuff the uh, metallurgist and uh, is making the dies and the machinist and the guy that was in charge of all that and they liked this because it was real shallow hardening so they could have a you know a die that might be an inch thick or or um, who knows how thick the die would be but when the, it would it would this is I don't want to get I'm stumbling on whether to go into metallurgy or not, but it's shallow hardening, meaning that it doesn't harden real deep, so that they really like this stuff because it would just, just the outer surface of the dies would be hard, and under that, underneath that, see, it might only harden eighth of an inch deep, and then underneath that would be soft enough that would act as a cushion and they would get a lot less breakage that way and they could weld to it and they wouldn't get fra fracture cracks when under high pressure and so forth so they really like the W2 shallow hardening now it, you know when you consider that it might only harden an eighth of an inch deep well if you only if you have got a quarter inch wide quarter inch thick knife blade and it hardens an eighth of an inch then it's fully hardened from each side because you're hardening from each side anyway then advancements came in as they approached the 2000s and they and it wasn't just General Motors it wasn't just because General Motors had this but see this would require um, their metallurgy departments to this requires austenizing in heat and quenching well they went the entire auto industry went to sort of a cleaner methods and what they went to air hardening steel for their dies which a lot of my knife maker friends will know you just you get it real hot and as it cools off in still air it hardens so they didn't have to have you know large quench baths for dies and stuff like that and it, it changed anyway it changed the way they made their dies they no longer needed this steel and don bought was buying this stuff three and four tons at a time till he bought up um 
you know, 15 to somewhere between 15 and 20 tons of it. And he sold a lot of it. Um, he has not sold it now for a very long time. And he got down to the point where his reservoir of steel that he had left, he's just keeping for himself. And I mean, he sold, he sold tons and tons of this. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm glad I've got what I have. And any of you people out there, when you're, when you're seeing knives that are made from DH3W2, know that you're getting some special steel that, you know, it was made to, re to um, automotive standard alloy, <coughs> excuse me, um, and this is all there is. When it's gone, it's gone. Okay, that's where my W2 tool steel W2 tool steel comes from. DH3W2. Have a good one.